I've been so vegan for over three weeks now that it's almost embarrassing to walk around amongst the general population. Like now I grocery shop on a white horse only just to let the people know like you're not on my level. You're using a shopping cart and you probably came here in a Toyota. I'm on a white horse. Not one black marking on him, as you can see. And he's gonna help me carry these home. What do you have? Your daughter? <laughs> Bitch. I'm just so ethical now. I'm waiting. I don't know if they mail you an award for it, so I'm waiting for that. But I'm just so great. Now the question is, will I stay the optimal human being of perfection? Stay on that path, or go down a darker lane where there's trouble brewing. Which path? Because I've debated it. Where will he go next? I am a vegan. You are a loser. So now that I've been down the other road, I was a meaty for 11 months and I got to live amongst the people. And I understand it now. It's like, we try to make the justifications. I mean, I can just speak for myself. I never wanted to kill, but I was willing to do it for health. So we did it. But and then we're trying to like make all these justifications like, no, we kill less. I could eat one cow for a whole year and you, you killed mice. Your rice kills mice. That's not nice. That's a t-shirt waiting to happen. Your rice kills mice. That's not nice. Somebody make it happen. <laughs> oh, I should make it happen. Buy it down below. Or a vegetable police t-shirt if you want it. <laughs> Technically, yes, you could kill one cow, buy the whole thing, stuff it in your freezer, and live off it for a year. Kind of. But l nobody's doing it. Like, you can't just bring that argument to the table. Like, not only is the cow too lean, so you'd have to buy some source of fat on top of it, then you'd have like so much weird muscly meats that you don't even like. Leg bone shit. Let's face it, you like your ribeye steaks, you have beef liver sometimes, and the amounts that you eat, coupled in with your raw beef fat trimmings, would add up to many cows. But still, if you're a monocrop wheat bitch vegan, sl you can kill more animals than a meat eater. I see it now. I never knew it was... I thought it was black and white. You're either vegan and you kill nothing, or you're a meat eater and you kill everything. It's nothing like that. There are definitely vegan diets that contribute to more animal deaths than meat-based diets, even entirely carnivorous ones. So it's not... I just... I would love to hear the vegans admit this, and then we can start coming together and respecting each other. Just... you have to admit it. Oh, yeah. Shit, I just ate a wheat sandwich with corn and soy. Those are delicious. Those are my favorite. Just a slab of tofu with corn on the cups and mayonnaise. Try it. And the funniest thing is the most snooty, arrogant vegans are usually the ones that are not health vegans and they're the ones eating the most of the monocrops and the gluten sausages and bread everywhere. It's like, it's the health vegans, usually the whole foods based ones that aren't so Nazi about it. They're not so stabby. And then they're actually contributing to less death. Like I imagine fruit doesn't kill many, if any, maybe some insects. It's cry me a river, bitch. Why are we so bright? Oh God. Hey, go spend a night in the Amazon jungle while mosquitoes feast off your flesh and just you hippie. No, don't kill them. They'll be done soon. They know when to stop. No, oh, they're not stopping. Oh, kill every one of them, burn them. Yeah, torture them. So that's one of the great things I learned from being a carnivore. It's just that carnivores are ethical people. They just want to be healthy. There's nothing wrong with that. And if anything, I had a deeper connection to animals as a meat eater. And it makes no sense. I don't know why. A chipmunk came up to me. He knew I was carnivore. He was like, hey man, I respect it. I dig it. It's like I had a in tune knowing that animals were love so i have nothing against the carnivore diet i have several friends that are still carnivore and i respect their decision and i hope they're super healthy i just i wonder long term i just i hope they're fine but i respect their choice and i will bash 
the diet as I see fit. But in general, it could be healthy. And they're still good people. But I gotta admit, it does feel better to be back on this side where plants are healing and healthy. It just makes more sense. Like, I was so lost on the carnivore diet, not knowing why I was getting results. It's like blueberries can remove heavy metals. Asparagus cleans the liver and kidneys. It's like we know these certain plants are beneficial for certain organs and certain herbs can kill viruses. And then you come to meat and it's like, why is that good? Chicken heals corn accumulation. If the chicken was corn fed and you eat the chicken, it's past life consumption of corn ghost spirits your corn out of your body with chicken corn six that's why if you have the flu you don't usually hear people saying oh just eat a big steak that's what you do for a flu didn't you know that if you have a sore throat it's usually like honey or lemon it's like no just swallow lard you coat it you coat your body in lard then you get rid of it so it feels good to be back on the side of common sense I don't want to do these extreme diets anymore. I'm not getting the results. Like, I am I can barely walk. My ankles are swollen for no reason. And I got that colitis flare up and I'm often exhausted. And it's like, what am I doing? Like, I was doing more balance before and all these like all meat diet, 21 day water fast, 13 day juice fast, cleanse, just cleanse it out. It's not working. I'm not getting the results. And if anything, I'm getting worse because of it, like extremely worse, ending up in emergency rooms in Thailand because my appendix is about to explode. So it's like, I do want to do a more balanced approach and that's what I'm doing now. I'm not just cleansing like crazy. I did start off with a little juice fast out of paranoia, but then I started incorporating whole fruits and now I'm doing like the celery juice, some fruit meals, sometimes a smoothie, having potatoes at night and I'm debating. I don't really want to kill cows and chickens and land animals. I know it's not really fair to say like, oh, you would kill a fish, but not a cow. You're a speciesist. It's like, yeah, kind of. I've pet a cow in real life and he was charming. They have a face of beauty. Like I could see he was like, he <laughs> was such a cute cow. It's like, God damn it. And I had beef in my bag and I was like, this sucks. I don't want to do this. I don't have the same emotional ties to an oyster or a mussel. Like it's a rock. It's a freaking rock. It's like a walnut. You have a shell, you open the shell, you eat the thing inside. Instead of a nut, it's a gooey, salty thing. It's not smiling at you. It's not crying. Does it feel pain? I doubt it. Proven by science. Links are down below, of course. But that's the debate I have going right now. Do I get the B12 and go back into veganism deep? Or do I not do that and just add in the foods that should re like replace all the nutrients that vegans lack in one food like oysters or mussels or even fish? I'm debating it. I'm not sure which direction I want to go. Like I kind of want to stay vegan. I like being on team vegan. I like supporting the vegan message. But... I feel like we might need something. I felt so many benefits from that carnivore diet. I think I was just deficient and I was just having like beef and chicken broth. I felt something like I was missing something and I felt phenomenal, but I think I went way overboard with it all meat diet and that ended up burdening all my organs. So I don't think that's the sustainable path long term, but there might be something in there. So I probably will experiment. So I'm not declaring, oh, I'm the perfect vegan here. I'm a vegan who eats oysters, potentially, and fish, maybe. I might dive deep into some wild salmon. You can't stop me. I'm still going to call myself vegan. Veganism needs to be a whole new thing. This My new veganism is the best form of veganism. Plant-based diet for health, adding in some animals, and then respecting other meat eaters and not stabbing them. If somebody's in a lot of pain and the carnivore diet makes them feel good, how are you gonna be mad at that person? They need to feel good. Have you ever felt what it feels like to have broken ankles and you can't walk? You got crutches? 
Still got them over there. So that's the direction I'm leaning. I did order a B12 just because it is so good for neurological symptoms and I might be having some of that. A lot of the pain that I've complained about is probably viruses attacking my nervous system. And that's why I feel that. So I just got some anyway, but I'm taking a whole whack load of supplements right now anyway. And they're just, they're targeted specific viral killers like zinc. I'm not taking it because you're deficient in zinc on a vegan diet. So adding in a B12 is not like, oh no, I'm taking supplements now. I'm not against them if they have a purpose. But if your diet is deficient, I just worry that there's things in animals that we haven't even discovered yet. Technically, if you got your B12 and you eat enough omega-3s from plants and you do convert them well to DHA and EPA, then you should be fine on a vegan diet. But there are things that might be in the mystery fields that we don't know about. There could be something in fish that we just haven't even discovered yet that we need. We can't get it on a plant-based diet. And I want optimal health here. That's what I'm going for. So I am leaning towards trying some oysters. See if I feel a boost. They're super high in zinc, so they should kill viruses and then give you parasites. So they'll fight virus first parasite. I'll post a YouTube video. Who's gonna win it? So I'm curious about your thoughts. Post it down below. Ultimate health. We're not speaking about ethics here. You snooty high horse ethic bitch. We're talking what's the healthiest diet for humans? Does it include animal products? I don't think it includes a lot. I think they're a little bit too much. Too much protein and fat can burden your organs. And I'm off that train. But some might be needed for optimal, perfect health. Post your thoughts down below. We're done. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Consider thumbing it up if you liked it. Thumbs down. If you eat feathers. You don't kill any bird. You just clip a feather or two. Not sure you're going to extract many nutrients from it. It's a feather. They're dry and very stabby. The needle-like thing in the middle. There's one right there. There's a down pillow. I'm an unethical monster. Actually, it's true. I've been having my enzymes and they do have ox bile and stomach acid in them. So I'm not really vegan, I guess. Is this good content? Will it focus on it? Wow. That is beautiful. It's not working. Oh. Alright, we're done. Thank you so much for watching the video today. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one.